guys, once again back with another video, and I have no idea what's happened to my skin. I've got this weird... Who is this infiltrator of my skin? Oh god. So today, we're going to be doing another different type of video, and I kind of wanted to recollect on my skills of modern house building. Yes, I used to love to do this when I was younger. I used to build modern houses all freaking day long, so I thought, why not give it a try now that I've got shaders working in 1.9, and I've got my nice Sortex Fanver resource pack, which is also amazing. But yeah, I'm going to give this house building thing a go. I found a great location. I'm hoping we can turn it into something amazing. So yeah, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out these trees. Because damn, there's a lot of trees. So I will be back once we have cleared out all these goddamn trees. I remember you. You make me stronger. Can go without it. That didn't take me too long. That took me about 10 minutes to do. All I did was to set up the uh, tick speed to about a thousand. If you set it to 10,000, I don't know why, but it kind of freaks out and then just doesn't work. So I set it to 1,000. As you can see by the time lapse, I just set everything on fire and just basically let the whole thing burn to the ground. So we have pretty much got everything done. So we don't really need these anymore. So we can just get rid of those. Don't need leather. Okay, don't need anything. Okay. So, before we start anything, we need to create a a pallet, essentially. And what a pallet is, if you don't know, is just literally a series of blocks that we are going to exclusively use in this build. I find that this is the best thing to do, as it keeps you to one colour scheme. And if you use the same blocks all the time, then it's bound to look good. So, what I used to go in my old builds is spruce wood, definitely spruce wood. Need some glass as well. And we're probably going to need some glass panes. They're really hard to see on this texture pack. Um, what else will we need? Um, some grey wool. I want, to, I want to kind of use some light grey wool. Okay. So I'm going to use grey wool and then white wool. Um... We're going to need some slabs as well. I'm kind of going for the oak wood stairs. Um, and then maybe some spruce wood stairs as well. What else we got? Um, endstone bricks. Don't need those. Okay. Um, let's try and find some stone. What we got? Chiseled stone bricks. What? It's pushing me forward. God damn it, piggy. Okay. And one more, one more. Okay, um, I think we will use. Uh, I'm. Uh, do birch leaves look better, or do oak leaves look better? Okay, I think we'll go with oak leaves. Okay, oak leaves definitely look a lot better. So I'm just gonna uh, put my palette down here. And then what we will do. Obviously, this is not including doors. This is going to be mainly the exterior and interior. Okay, so they tile together. Okay, cool. So, that's going to be the basics of our house. So, what we need to do is we actually need to level this ground off. Because I feel that this is a bit too high uh, for my lighting. So, we're just going to get rid of that real quick. Um... Okay, so 
as you can see, we just leveled that ground off. I'm pretty much happy with what we've got here. It's pretty level. We don't want it all on the same level because that, again, is what differs the good houses from the bad houses. You want you want the ground generally on different levels if you can because um, bungalows never look the greatest. So what we're going to start with is these stairs. I think we will have an offset staircase here. We're going to make that four blocks, four blocks of staircase. And we're going to raise that up. And maybe we'll put a four block of wool there. Not sure how that's going to look yet. Um, so we got that. We got that. We may put the, uh, the white wool there. Just to offset the color. Okay, so we got pretty good color scheme going on here. Um, I'm... Get out of the way, pig. So I'm going to put... A set of five here going out from the stairs and then gray wool coming from there pretty much like a trident sort of thing if you know what I mean if that makes any sort of sense and then what we're gonna do is we are going to have glass here going up four blocks glass here going up four blocks then what actually we'll raise it up another block as well because you want some nice clearance for your for your headroom there. There we go. That is looking nice. We're going to put some stone pillars here. If they work, uh, maybe not. Going to put those there and then we're going to have them same on the other side as well. We got those there and just replace that one there so it looks nice and solid. What we're going to do is we're going to have those there and just essentially continue these round. And then offset them like that. And then fill the rest of this in with glass. So we have got a pretty simplistic home. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot. I forgot glowstone. We need glowstone in any build. In any build. It just looks so good. Uh, what haven't we used yet? The spruce. We're going to... Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And as you can see, it just instantly brightens the place up. And I think it looks so good. So, to continue this, th I mean, this is looking alright, but I think it could really do with some nice bushes there. Okay, we're just going to put some more grass in here. There we go. It's really annoying having a tick speed up at like a thousand, because everything just grows instantly, and it's like super confusing. Okay, there we go. And now if we put glass in front of there. Okay, that looks amazing. Okay, so we're going to take it from here. I think what we'll do... As you know, that that won't look too good. So, I think... Okay, so how are we going to do this? How are we going to orientate this? I think what we'll do is we'll bring this out three. And then I think we'll have a nice glass wall going out to there, and then we'll have some grey wool to offset that. Okay, so that looks pretty damn good. So it's going to complete this here. And I like that in Sortex Fanver, uh, the resource pack, all the glass meshes together as one. So you almost can't tell that's glass, and I think that looks the best by far. Okay, so now what we're going to do in front of this, we will put our stone bricks... So then that looks super good. And I think what we'll do is we'll have a slab. We will have a birch slab, birchwood slab. Put that there. Oh, nope. What was it? Slab. Was it a jungle wood? Okay, it was oak wood, I think. I hope. There we go. Yes, it was. It was oak wood. So we're going to put that there. And then that, again, looks 
super sexy and I think what we'll do is we'll bring it out one as well so we'll bring it out there because it's always really nice to have like a, a little bit of an overhang I don't know why but it just really adds something to the build and what I always do is I do multiple overhangs so as you can see I'm probably going to take this one more up and then we'll do another overhang here and we'll bring it out one do like that and what we'll do for this one is we'll bring it down here and then we'll do some more gray wool there like this so i'm just thinking already that looks super freaking good and we haven't really done much at all so that is looking really nice and sexy i think what we'll do is we'll put another another pillar of wool there and then what we'll do is we will glass that off like so okay boom so that is already looking super nice we've got the glass in there we got the wool we got the the leaves we got the stairs so that is looking really super fantastic so I'm going to continue the wool round there just so we can keep a similar style and then what we'll do is we'll do the white wool because with this shader with this shader pack the white wool really like accentuates the gray because you need there to be like a contrast between the white and the gray and I think the uh, the wood is more in there for just some just for some extra color as well and I think we'll bring that out to there. And then we'll do the grey wool. Sort of like a skirting on the outside. I mean, we want our main area to be pretty big. So obviously this is a modern house. So we want it to be fairly big, but not too oversized. Because we'll probably put like a living room and different floor patterns. Then we will, then we will continue this round here. And that will look super nice. Okay. And we'll pro probably continue the carpet around here. Because we don't want to make this house too big. Because I find that the more, the bigger you make the house, the harder it is to finish and keep the style. So we're not going to make it too big. But equally so, we don't want it too small either. Okay. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to continue this glass around here. Just so it's not empty. And then we are going to put, just fill that one in there. And then we'll probably put a white, a white skirt around there. Probably there. And then we can have the glass protruding again. I think what we'll do is we'll offset this. So then we have that there, that there. I'm basically going in twos. And then we'll have a white one at the end. Then we'll have these here. That there. That there. And that there. And then to top it all off, I think we're going to go with a oak wood. oakwood topping just like so and that already looks downright amazing i think what we'll do is we'll maybe put some leaves there just to essentially make it blend in with its environment because uh, i think i'm going for like a modern house hybrid slash villa if you know what i mean we'll put leaves there and then we'll put Keep that to the top, and then we'll put the leaves there as well. And just to finish it off, where's my glowstone? We need that glowstone, though. So we'll do that, and then we'll put that in there, and then it looks super nice again. And get our glowstone out, and we will put that, I think, under here. And that'll look super nice. And we'll just cover that up. 
And boom. Damn. Just just look at that beauty. Look at that from the inside. We can maybe have some chests there or a crafting table or, or some sort. So we get the nice view outside as well. And we get the amazing view inside. So I think what we're going to do for the inside, we're going to take it a little bit different. Uh, just get rid of the leaves. And we'll raise this up. Because the key to building an amazing house is not necessarily the amount of features, but just the aesthetics. Like, you've got to keep your house light and airy. And generally, just generally as a main thing, um, also openness as well. Having an open living plan, open space, and just fill it in. With minimalistic things. You don't want like a load of crafting tables everywhere. A load of furnaces. You just want to keep things nice and simple. So I think what we'll do. We'll do that. And then. We will fill those in. To keep it nice and simple. And then we'll maybe contrast it. By putting some glass here. So maybe. A big strip there big strip there and maybe like a little four by four cube here yeah, so that's three by three and then four by four there we go and we'll just have that as a little island actually we'll make it five by four there we go just looks a little bit nicer and then we'll complete that off As you can see, we're just filling in all these little spaces that we've got. And then we'll take that round there. And then boom. We need to fix that up there. Okay. So I think we've pretty much got the main plan for the house. So, I don't think I'm going to build too much bigger than this, because I think this is quite big enough uh, for a little modern house. But I think what we will do is we will take this white wool out a bit further. Do that there. Then I've got a little idea. We'll maybe put some, put some stairs here. Oh, that's going into the glass. I don't like that. Um, am I going to the woods? Yes, it will. Um, I think we'll put that there. Then we maybe extend this one out. So put that there. That's not resting on the glass. And then we can have that one... Or maybe we do that. Hmm. Do that, raise that up one. Oh, oh. And then we do that there. We have a white block there. Maybe put some glass in there. Okay, that looks really good. I'm I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, no, I think that's a bit too much. And what we'll do with this wall is we will continue the style out. But I think we'll do it every three blocks. One, two, three. And then we'll, for this little corner, we'll put some white blocks. Just to offset it, because I really like the, in, the indentation style. And then what we'll do is we'll have a block there. And then some glass. Mm. We'll have a block 
there. And then for this one, we'll just cover that up in spruce. I think we'll cover this up in spruce as well. And then put some glowstone here. Here as well. Fill this in with some leaves. And that, again, looks really sexy. I'm liking that. I'm loving it. So just look at this house, guys. Just take in for a second how beautiful this is. You got all the reflections. It's really nice and airy. Got that white light theme. And I think it's going good. But we shall continue this in episode two. Hope you guys are enjoying this little modern house build. We've got a lot planned. I'm going to put a farm in here as well. Some extra rooms, maybe a side hut, and then a waterfall as well. It'll look really, really good when we're done. But yeah, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I shall see you in the meantime. Bye, guys.